Hey guys, welcome back. So yeah, there's been a lot going on in this series. Oh my goodness, he's jumping on the bed, it looks like. It, it's been a lot, and I'm going to try to make it as short of a story to tell you. Wow, I, f I feel like, I feel like, um, yeah, this is a bit creepy. <laughs> um, so basically, this is my treetop lookout. I love it. It's so cute. So after the last episode, I wanted to come on and go to the nether. I came on, I got all prepared, had everything I needed, went to go to the nether, and my portal kept spinning and spinning and spinning and never teleported me to the nether. I have Googled and researched and looked everywhere trying to figure out why my portals are not working on this world, but I can't find anything. I can find nothing that says anybody else has had this issue. If you've had this issue, please let me know. That being said, I tried to fix it. I tried to come back in and take off my biome called Oh The Biomes You Go. I took it off, came back into the world to try to go through my portal and it still did not work. It kept spinning and spinning. What I failed to realize was that by taking my biome mod off, I basically broke my world. Every, excuse me, everything that I had made using wood from those biomes on that mod was missing. And when I put the mod pack back on and came back into the world. It was all topsy turvy. Poor little Kramer, our kitty cat, suffocated in the wall. Harry Trotter is nowhere to be found, and neither is Fofi. I'm sad, sad girl. But needless to say, I have tried to pick myself, dust myself off. I then proceeded to use the nature's compass. I found out that you can actually teleport to the biomes you find, hence all my lovely new trees that you see. I decided, even though my gut told me not to, this is, he is really creeping me out. <laughs> Look at him. He's just standing there staring at me. Yeah. Yeah. You go over there. I think, I think I've offended him. Anyway, uh, I decided to go to the Alps, even though my gut told me not to. Sure enough, I spawned in and fell to my death. Yep. Little brain was in control that night. Big brain was nowhere to be found. I had taken all of my backpacks with all of my good stuff along and lost it. Could not get back to the spot that I died at. Excuse me, sir. You are <laughs> my face. Could not get back to the spot that I died. I lost everything. But hey, listen, it's not the first time and it won't be the last. Hopefully it's the last. So I came back, head hanging low, decided, you know what? We're going to keep going. You, sir, have overtaken my tree lookout. Put a bed up here and the villager takes over. I love it. Look at it. Look at this. It's so awesome. If you have any tips for anything else I can add up here, please let me know in the comments. All right, let's go on down. Yes, Andy Butt is hanging out in my tree up there. I'm not very happy about it. He thinks it's his tree. Now you're going to also notice that there is a heck of a lot of flowers and all sorts of stuff on the ground. I thought it would be. Again, little brain was working this day. Awesome to add an iron golem mod on where you get all sorts of iron golems. One of them happens to plant in bone meal the ground as it walks. It has overtaken. I had to take it off. This is after I have gone through and whacked away at the ground to get rid of a lot of it. And this is still the amount that's here. So we're still working on it. Look at all the villagers. I'll show you a few things that I have built since last episode. I do love building. I don't profess to be the best builder. Oh yes, and they also, one of the iron golems was planting mushrooms. It was the mushroom golem. I don't profess to be the best builder, but I do enjoy it. So I built this little area here because let's face it, this area was really lacking in having any sort of interesting thing going on here. It was just a lot of water and dirt. So I built this little area and this is one of the houses. Now they're, they're kind of plain Jane on the inside. I just kind of put some beds down. This is the next one again, sweet and simple. And this is the next one. I'm not going to take too long with them, but yeah. Actually, this is basalt. I I got my hands on some basalt and decided to use it. Now here, this is actually one whole unit. So it's kind of like I was going for like the bungalow feel. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I think about all this dark. I love dark oak, but I, I kind of went a bit crazy with it. I should maybe change that up, but you know, it works. This is the next one. And he's just, you know, enjoying standing in the door. You could stand here and peek back at him. You all right? And then we have this one. I was trying to give, okay, okay. 
I was trying to give each of them a different look and feel. I really love these polished diorite blocks. And then I put this tree here with some fairy lights, did the ground up, and made little glowstone lamps with these awesome little barrel planters that they have. Oh, we have a new panda called Grian. There's actually three pandas to the village. This is Grian, which was a name suggestion. Here's, looks like this might be Dumpling. Dumpling is always a scaredy, I was gonna say a scaredy cat, but a scaredy panda. That's one of our new trees. That one there. I need to get fairy lights on them because you can't hardly see them. So this one is a rainbow one, a rainbow eucalyptus, and then this one is the cherry log. Really pretty. Really, there's another mushroom. This is one of my favorites too. Oh, and we got this one, which also needs some fairy lights. The Lament. I love that tree. Look, look at Endy up there. I think he's stuck. I really do. Come here, Endy. Look at him. I should go up and lasso him. Put him in my, my mob farm. Endy. Oh my. We got, we can't just leave him there, can we? Should we see if he despawns? Oh, did he just... Oh. Where'd he go? I don't know where he went. Oh, the iron golem finished him off. Thanks for the ender pearl. Because Harry Trotter is missing and nowhere to be found, I was fortunate enough on one of my little journeys with the nature's compass to find Thunder. So we still have two horsies. We've got Horus and Thunder. Yay. And then this is Poe. Now Poe is always so happy. Usually you can find Poe laying um, on their back. Yep, there he goes. There they go. I don't know if boy or girl. I just built this because we needed more jobs for the villagers. So I built this little building here just yesterday, actually. Uh, it looks like we have some late night workers. Good job, good job. You guys are gonna have to tell me, do note blocks bring about anything for work? I don't think so. And I put brewing stands, but I'm not sure if anybody has accepted that job either. I'm really so new to this, so I'm pretty sure that the note block is a, a bust. Okay, oh. Okay, they want the door open. No worries, no worries. Put another lament tree there. I think that's pretty much it. I'll show you the panda enclosure though. Well, it's not really an enclosure because I didn't want to keep them in a place because um, we just don't have that big of an area to be tucking them into a small little fenced area. I don't know, Did I think I showed you guys my sign post from when I made this area here. So the glowy trees were that way and this is our village. Yeah, new Asgard. <laughs> It's a little Easter egg for you. Um, so this is the little area I built for the pandas. Not very big, but I just wanted something, you know, little area for them. Oh, and this is a, another cherry log tree and an ether or ether tree, which has some gorgeous wood. That's what I used for the, um, the building up there. Guys, I have some stuff to show you in the house as well that I've worked on. Oh, and I redid some decorations to the house. I put some paintings up. I changed the furniture and the cabinets. I think these work better. And we've got a cat Murph. Murph, Murph. It's Murph, Murph. Little desk glass in it. Our little bookshelf, or well, our little shelves anyway. Little knickknacks on it. And if you hear cats, that's because we've got a whole, oh, and a sprout. Look, they've made friends. I need to name the sprouts, but I'm not sure yet what. Manus, if you're watching, you can pick out some names for me and put them in the comments. I need a good bit, so put a few. We've got speckles and toast, blue and squirt, dinkerdoo, spark. We also have smushy face. We, there's mater and tux and evergreen because evergreen has some gorgeous gorgeous green eyes now smushy face is actually the name of one of the cats that i used to have in real life she had a little face that looked all smushy so that's where she got her name but yeah i decorated in here a little bit more found these really cute lights love them want to put them everywhere i have some big stuff to show you down here big stuff get ready whoa she still can't work ladders to save her life. Changed out the ladder, changed out the wood, crafting tables, also my furnaces. I have an abundance of diamonds now and an abundance of iron because I lassoed some of the um, iron golems and one was a diamond one and I put it in my mob farm and boy oh boy did I get some diamonds. I made another expansion to the chest room and put glow lights in the ceiling. I feel like I'm at like a department store or something. It's so bright. And then we've got an extra area downstairs. I'm so excited for you to see this area. Oh look, it's more sprouts. I made all this. 
I've been busy. Look at these blue glow shroom blocks. The lizards. I've got a lot of mob farms now. Oh, and we've got a lily tad. It's the cutest thing. Oh my gosh, look at those eyes. They're so big, you just like fall, fall into them. Look how cute. I love this room. I love these blocks that you can see the glowstone through it. Oh, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Now in here I have some, because I decided, I made the executive decision to go creative to get the items I cannot get from the nether because I cannot go there. I did happen to get a few little mobs to put in the farms. So I've got a spider. Now that one I had from before. I did get a witch, a creeper, a rabbit, a wither skeleton, an enderman, piglin, brute, which I found doesn't really give anything in the mob farm. I've got a chicken, a sheep, and a blaze, and a cinder shell, which I'm not sure if that thing is safe or not. I'm gonna show you these though. So look at all of our little, see, this is what I mean. I need a lot of names. We've got purple, we've got like a lime green, we've got reddish orange kind of a color, and there's so many of them. And we also need a name. I don't know if I'm just gonna call this one Lily. So I need names for the lizards, I need names for the sprouts, and I need, well, I guess that's about it for now. This is an Ender Mini. I don't know if it teleports. It's angry. And it puts out these like little um, baby, I don't know, let me put them in and you can see. It puts like little, oh, I actually have some. They're these young pearls and you can craft them into a big pearl. Isn't that cute? And then this is the other one that I have and I'm really not sure if this is like gonna kill me or not. Look at it. Oh, are you nice? It's a cinder shell. It doesn't seem to be hostile, but I'm just not sure. Yeah, we're keeping him safe in there. This is our new area. Now, what I need help with from all of you, oh, and this is a gorgeous block, Amatrine, which is in one of the biomes. I need ideas for what to do with these two rooms. So if you have any ideas, please, please, please pop them in the comments below, and that would be awesome and amazing. I'm really excited about all this, but I have to say this is not at all how I expected the world to go. I expected to be able to go to the nether several times because I like to get the quartz and obviously, you know, the items to make the, what is it, nether rack, netherite items. But you know, that all kind of got busted when I couldn't go there. So if you want me to continue with this world, which I really, it has kind of become my heart and soul, this village, please let me know. If you want me to just keep building and adding to it and exploring the world, let me know. Also, I was thinking about starting a new series to go along. I've never played it before. Today, I thought about doing Minecraft hardcore series. Now, I'm not sure how long I will last, but I'm going to be positive and, you know, give it a good try. So if you'd like to see that, let me know as well. If you have any other ideas for little things that I could build around the uh, village, I would love to hear. I also have been starting to name all of the villagers. Like here's Joey and Ross and Chandler. Yeah. Oh, look, your friends. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I want to kind of see how big I can get the village. So yeah, I was excited to show you everything that we've done. Um, like I say, please let me know any names for any of the sprouts or lizards that you have in mind in the comments. If you have any suggestions for what we can build in the village, pop that in the comments as well. If you're excited to see what else we can do here in this world, give the video a like or pop it in the comments. A lot of popping in the comments this episode, but all for good cause. I'm excited to start the hardcore series, so I hope to see you over there. And until next time, take care.